I think those are 58 inch tires and they are about even with the snow. So we got a good, good five feet of snow. Try back up a bit more. No, he's done. Like Shamazel City here. Brick, yeah. You may be all big and stuff, but you ain't no motherfucking Ford Ranger. Hey, good morning, guys. So we made it out to Kelowna. Today we are going out with the Kelowna Snow Wheelers. We got the old Argo Centaur. Devin's running. <laughs> Running pretty much Sherp tires. He's running uh, somewhere around a thousand horsepower. There's gonna be some crazy rigs here today. We brought 55 horsepower, so <laughs> uh, he figures there's about gonna be about 20 machines today, so it's gonna be exciting. I just gotta get uh, pulled off to the side of the road here and parked, and then we'll get going. I was just telling Jimbo, we have we have these views in Saskatchewan. Don't no, worry don't. about it. No, you don't. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Deepen Baker Lake, you ever been there? No, you haven't. <laughs> All right, man, this is gonna be a good day. Um, Devin figures we got about 20, 20 rigs, so pretty big, good sized group. So, man, you, uh, if you don't love 40 series cruisers, I don't know, there's something wrong with you. There's nothing better. 60 series to 80 series, pretty much all Land Cruisers, but 40 series in particular. Mwah. Some big, big rigs here too. That's gonna be a good time. I'm excited, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just dang excited. All right, so things are going good. <laughs> Jimbo still got a lot of donuts to get rid of. Uh, we're just waiting on the trail here. A few guys sorting through a couple issues. So here's the biggest key to success in the snow, just running super big tires and uh, super low air pressure. I can't wait till we get up, up and off the trail. It's gonna be fantastic. These guys have been doing this for years and years and years. Figured all those years learning what works, what doesn't. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Okay boys, we got everyone together. We got everyone fixed up. Everybody getting their rigs fired up, and we're gonna continue on. Holy smokes, look at that view, guys. Wow, that is something else. Okay, well, guys, the trick is to stay up top. Don't end up down there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you guys always stop where I can't get around? <laughs> you're getting around. You're. Good, my thing. I don't think I'm the one that's doing the wheel. Got the driver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so if you guys seen on the drone video there, um, uh, Devin's up front trying to break trail and he's just plowing snow. So we're gonna try to get out in front and see if we can if we can uh, try to break trail. Once we put a bit of a track in, then it's just easier for everyone else. So I don't know if it's possible. We're kind of single track here. If we can if we can get past everyone and get out front, maybe we can uh, do our best to try to break some trail. guys we're gonna try to creep past here see how far we can get going here yeah so we got what uh, this will be third we're fourth in line here and we already got a really nice track set in so this guy's doing excellent out here. I think those are 58s. Those are the biggest dock tire you can buy. They're doing freaking awesome. So, well, we're the fifth. There's four trucks ahead as we're fifth in line, but already you're making a really nice track here. So, so once we get up here, we'll see if we can get around them. Frickin', is this freaking deadly? <laughs> So everyone's just trying to do the creepy crawl technique. So the thing with really deep snow is what you're trying to do is you're trying to pack down the snow until it gets to enough where it supports your weight of your vehicle. Now you, you want to do that before you frame out. So the widest tires, the most ground clearance helps and the lightest weight. So this guy's running uh, some mog axles and they have built in portals. So he's got really good clearance, really big tires. But this is some really soft, fluffy snow. So we're gonna try to get around these guys if we can and uh, see if we'll do a little bit better job at breaking trail. Basically first gear, let out the clutch and just just go straight. <laughs> <laughs> the Argo Centaur does really good at doing that, so. <laughs> yeah, but it's challenging conditions to say the least, but you can't beat the freaking weather and it's so awesome to see so much snow. We don't have a lot back home, so this is like mint. can't believe how well that is working you guys wow it's just the perfect amount of snow pack to support our weight you just got to be real ginger on the steering inputs so you don't dig a side down and man we are like trucking frick yeah so hopefully that helps those guys out oh yeah they're coming now nice here i'll hold you again <laughs> Is it? Here we go. Okay. I got my good waterproof jeans on. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Read on. Oh. Holy sh. <laughs> so 
Look at this guy. What a trooper. He's getting a shot. Yeah, we got some snow here, boys. <clears throat> Half a PSI for the win. Yeah, no kidding. That's nothing. We're framed out, I think. I'll try to, I'll try to back up. <laughs> it's crazy what that tiny little bit of, of grade will do. Down into that sugar snow. Not looking good. Wow. So we'll dig a little bit um, and then and then uh, we should drop and then we should be good. But as far as going forward, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so we got a little tug back. We're all good, but yeah, we were totally framed out here. So just that, like I said, you guys, that tiny bit of an incline. Woo! Now you're pulling your weight up rather than your weight helping you go down. Yeah, I know how about pulling my weight up out of these holes. <laughs> I jumped out right there like, holy smokes, right to my nuts. Yeah. Maybe I didn't have all those donuts for breakfast. <laughs> right. Holy cow, you guys, this is freaking awesome. Oh my God, it's so deep off trail. Frickin' beauty. Okay, so, uh, sorry, I didn't get that. We crept up out of our rut. Um, so now we're just gonna try to correct. So we're midline, we're going a little bit right here, but I'm able to go back and forth, so we might be gold, guys. <coughs> Oh yeah, digging. 
have to stay on the road. Yeah. And you didn't have to steer. I think it would be no problem, but going into that ditch there. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is end up down there. Oh yeah, look at the hole. Yeah. Yeah, weird hey, the left side is because you're on the road, I guess, eh? Yeah. Just keep trying to Temps in Saskatoon right or Man. Saskatchewan? You know what? It did warm up, but when I left you guys it was 37 below. <laughs> and it's like, what is it? Minus Maybe? two here? Yeah, I was gonna say, is it even minus? Wow. wow. <laughs> Friggin' right on. Okay, so cracked a little to the right. Ah, there you go. Dang. Now we're fighting a little bit the other way. <laughs> No input, no input. Oh, oops. pay attention, a little bit of input needed. <laughs> Frick, a guy's gotta pay it. Look at how little. Yeah. Small, small Very little. <clears throat> small little pivot turns? Yeah, because if a guy holds it, it, uh, One side you dig down, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little back up and get a little bit to the left. But man, we're doing, we're doing excellent. Okay boys, so it looks like we're gonna turn around. I was gonna try to get to that little top. I don't know if you can tell on video, there's just a little uh, crest right there. I was gonna try to get up there, but the only problem, oof, if I get if I get stuck up here, like I did back there, if I get high centered, no one's coming to winch us out, so. So everyone's just trying to get their, make their way turning around. Man, how crazy is that? So if a guy spent a little bit of time, it wouldn't take much, you know, to work it, work it, work it, make it up there. It'd be funny even if a guy, uh, you know, did some footsteps, trounced down a path, trounced down the middle so that you didn't frame out as, as quick. I wonder how that would work. Gimbal's gonna crash his drone into the trees. Man, what a freaking day. What a freaking blast, you guys, wow. All I can think is how much fun on a sled would you have? Woo -hoo -hoo! You'd be wheelie in the summit. Boop! Try not to hit these trees and stumps, but got a good four or five feet of snow. Freaking beautiful. Okay, we'll work on getting turned around here. You get that little bit of compaction, makes all the difference in the world.
Guys, I am a long ways away just filming with the drone, using the GoPro audio, but that was awesome. Out of there, no problem. Oh, he's trying to get down on the. This is the bonus bonus line here. Sorry about the drone beeping. On there, see if we can keep her going. Frick yeah, buddy! Woo! Freaking awesome! Right on. I think. Let's see how it looks from here. Just gonna try to, yeah, right, right here somewhere. I'll get turned around. Do a nice packed in spot. We'll get turned around and then we'll get up there and join the action. Oh, that does me. Man, this Mini 3 Pro. Um, with the extended batteries, you get something like 47 or 49 minutes flight time. It's crazy. Oh, stop recording. <laughs> Landing. Mint! And stuff like this where it's pretty tough to get around to film. You can fly the drone and really get some great content for you guys <laughs> okay so here's the few up front um, we lost a bolt of the suspension here so they're just trying to rig something up that'll work get him turned around and then we should be in pretty good shape like I said we've got everyone else pretty lined up facing the right way Just don't touch anything, it goes good. <laughs> Got her down to half a PSI. There we go. This guy's making one heck of a trail for us. stellar day so far it's been freaking awesome these guys are a great group to come out with so we got a little tiny little climb to get out of here Horsepower for the win, buddy. Oh, he's 
Okay boys, we cut up with the rest of the group. It's like Shamazel City here. Frick, yeah. So there should be a few guys, obviously the tracks, a few guys ahead. It just, it's tough, eh? The slope is falling away to the left. So you start heading that way and now you got gravity as your worst enemy pushing you into that bank. Like I think those are 58 inch tires and they are about even with the snow. So we got a good, good five feet of snow. Tough going. We'll walk up here and see if we can see the other guys. Okay, I can hear people. Can't see them yet. Oh man, this is literally, oh, there they are. Wow, holy frick. Like you, I'd say you are 100% pot committed if you take this trail down, because I don't think in a million years you're ever crawling back up. I know like on camera, it never looks like much, but they are a ways down there. <laughs> yeah, for sure, so, man, oh man. Oh, nice. Perfect. So he's saying, yeah, then keep going and hook up with the road. Look at Devon's Sherp tires. They are almost buried. Jeez Louise. All right. We'll see uh, if we can help these guys out at all. If not, maybe we can get around them. And we'll, uh, we'll make our way down here. Uh, the three guys are down at the bottom of the block. Heck yeah, a little persistence pays off, boys. Look at air suspension there. Load all the weight to the right. Counteract this slope. Freaking awesome. Okay, we'll see if we can link up with those other guys. Okay, boys, we're pushing through. We're going down into that cut block.
This was nice and clear for you guys. 
I think we made the loop and we're back to uh, where that dam was, where that water was. So we're we're freaking gold now. We got pack trail the rest of the way. What a freaking adventure! And the old Argo Centaur, she works dang good, doesn't it? Sometimes you got to creep along and you know really really be slight on that steering. Oh, there's snow track tracks. Yeah. We made her, boys. We had a nice, nice slope helping us. Yeah. Beautiful. I was in second gear, just feathering her. Yeah. Perfect. And just enough trail where then you guys, now you can go, it's much better trail. Next guy, much better trail. That's why I wanted to get in front because I got the weight of the diesel yeah. on top of the tires. Yeah. I can make it. Packing it down good. Yeah. These yeah. Hopefully. Freaking awesome. Man, it was when Devin went past us. <laughs> oh my God. We're just killing ourselves laughing. Oh, yeah. Shifts in a second, just boom! He just got bombarded by dirt. <laughs> it should be freaking awesome on the video, man. Man, it was Who else sweet. Does that, hey? Totally, yeah. Me, I thought I had big tires. <laughs> I gotta get a picture of that. Here, hang on. Is he gonna inflate them? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can inflate mine too. We're in the chat. I can. That's got to be a mechanical compressor. It is. It's the engine exhaust. The snow was just perfect. A huge challenge. Made things super interesting the entire day. But in the end, we're all going to get back to the trail. Here comes the rest of the guys. Man, headsets would be the way to go. Easily talk to each other. Save your eardrums. Frick yeah. Who the ear of Devin's machine? <laughs> what is they completely blew your eardrums out? Just as that. Oh my god. I'm sure you guys seen that already in the video, but man, that was freaking awesome. He literally was pinned in second gear. Those tires probably grew two feet in size just from centrifugal force. <laughs> he plowed a lot of snow. Heck yeah. So um, I think after him, there might be two more to come down, so. And we still got a few more hours. Um, we're headed somewhere in the middle of nowhere for a bite to eat, and then it's uh, 18K back to the trucks. So it'll be a little while, but what a freaking adventure. I wouldn't trade it for anything.
What do you think, man? This phone takes really decent video at, it's basically really dark out, really decent. Awesome, well that's one more down. Hopefully the other couple are coming. Oh, I see more lights coming. That's a good sign. I think I do anyways. Look how deep that snow is. How awesome is that shot? Rock lights are so cool. <laughs> Does it have like an exhaust cutout? Or was that just in the snow? It was so quiet and all of a sudden, rawr. After him, uh, there should be a Ford Ranger and then that uh, tan colored Chevy. That should be all that's left. Yeah, tunes. This is the tune truck. It literally has speakers all on the outside. Oh, you can kind of see them there. You see them? The speakers. Kind of right where the rock lights are. Speakers there. Speakers in the box of the truck. She's the party wagon. Frick, there's so much snow. <laughs> Boom, salt. <laughs> Woo! Well, guys, uh, I think that's going to be the end of this video. So, we had a freaking awesome day. Yes. We came here, we had an awesome burger. Wicked day. It was great. So, um, as always, we wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff without you guys. We love you guys. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and definitely we'll see you next video. Peace. That's just because it's an iPhone. That's just how they take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just cruising back down guys. We've got about 18 K to go and um, we've seen this like perfect little you can see Kelowna lights so perfect so we just stopped little this is like lovers look out here whoa whoa whoa, whoa. <laughs> calm down <laughs> but yeah pretty freaking amazing view just a tiny bit of snow right now but yeah pretty freaking awesome perfect way to cap off a pretty awesome day let's see let's see this iPhone here if he ever gets this thing right I don't not. think I know how to work this shit no I don't Close enough. That's Look, all you're getting. Looks blurry. <laughs> <laughs> all right.